Hey everyone, Don here with Don's Question of the Day. Guys, welcome to another edition of DQOTD. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another week of DQOTD. Guys, I have a good Monday question for you. Before we get into the results for that question and the question itself, guys, don't forget to go on Facebook. We have a weekly poll that starts every Monday and then it ends on Friday at 4 p.m. So all week, you can go on Facebook and answer that weekly poll. Make sure you get your vote in. Hashtag DQOTD Don's question of the day, guys. Let's get into that question. Guys, honestly, kind of um, it's kind of a loaded question. It really was today. Um, do you ask a lot of questions or do you settle for what you know? Well, a lot of you were saying, you know, it's it's a loaded question. It just depends on the situation. It depends on who we're talking about as far as either asking questions or maybe being in a group and selling for what you know and arguing arguing, <laughs> arguing a point or uh, something like that sticking to your guns on uh, something that you know or think you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Basically, I, I guess... <laughs> I guess I put it in another way for people if they were confused. I was saying, well, do you do you rely more on uh, your knowledge and your education about things and what you know to be true, or do you ask a lot of questions about different subjects when there's different people and stuff around things uh, like that? So. Um, and that seemed to clarify more for for people. So um, pretty pretty one-sided today for the results. So I went with asking a lot of questions. It took me a while to figure out what I was going to say uh, for this question, but after a couple hours, <laughs> remember I was working. But um, yeah, after a couple hours, I came up with yeah, I I probably ask a lot of questions, especially with things that I don't know. That's a lot of you were saying that's how you learn things. That's how you get educated about things and get different perspectives and other people's opinions and views on different things. That can only be good for you because then you can draw different conclusions or validate your own on different subjects and different debates. So that being said, 87% of you said that you ask a lot of questions rather than settling for what you know. And of course, 13% of you is what is left. And you guys, the 13% of you said that you settle for what you know. You don't tend to ask a lot of questions. Uh, maybe you're shy about things and you just stick to what you know. Uh, and you don't, uh, you don't tend to uh, ask people their opinions or say a new job or something. You don't tend to ask a lot of questions. You kind of let things come to you and you learn from that so it it could go a lot of different ways this this question but uh, I think we I think we accomplished uh, good results here so fairly good results here <laughs> I don't know this is not coming from an expert or anything so <laughs> all right guys that's gonna do it for today's results video if you like this video please give me a big fat thumbs up make sure you hit that thumbs up let me know you liked it Comment down below, um, let me know your opinion, which side you would be on on this question. Uh, and if, also if you have any suggestions or anything for the show or any questions you want me to consider, you can leave those down below too, as well as emailing me at donsquestionoftheday at gmail.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring-a-ding-a-ding, -ding, that notification bell right by the subscribe button, so you'll know when we come out with a new video. I'm Don, question everything guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.